In this case, a school teacher was convicted of certain offences against children in their classes, some 20 years before the complaint and trial. They were acquitted on four charges, but convicted on the fifth. They appealed on the basis that the judge was not sufficiently emphatic in giving the jury what was called a Longman direction, essentially a caution by the judge in circumstances where many years have passed since the offending allegedly occurred. The charge upon which the teacher was convicted prohibited homosexuality. It had long since been repealed, but it had been the law at the time of the alleged offending. Perhaps because the law was so old and outdated, neither the barristers nor the judge seemed all that familiar with it. When they got to the High Court, and the matter was in the hands of really experienced barristers, those barristers realised that in fact, old cases on that old law had defined the offence in such a way that the defendant was clearly innocent. Nobody had picked up on this. The question was whether an appeal point like this could be raised in the High Court when it hadn't been raised at any time in the lower court. Normally the answer would be no, on the basis of what is called the finality principle, which is essentially that there is a public interest in legal disputes being resolved as early as possible, and so appeals should be limited and should not just be a chance to repeat the trial over and over. Chief Justice Gleeson quoted an earlier Canadian decision saying, Were there to be no limits on the issues that may be raised on appeal, such finality would become an illusion. Both the Crown and the Defence would face uncertainty, as counsel for both sides, having discovered that the strategy adopted at trial did not result in the desired or expected verdict, devised new approaches. Costs would escalate, and the resolution of criminal matters could be spread out over years in the most routine cases. In this case, however, there was the prospect of clear injustice if the appeal did not proceed, so the High Court allowed the appeal and acquitted the defendant. From this case, we learn that the finality principle matters in Australian law. All else being equal, a verdict should be final, and appeals should be limited to correcting defects in the reasoning below. Mm -hmm.